What's up guys, it's Chase fan number 9 here. I'm coming at you with a NASCAR related video. Just want to let you guys know that this is my first real NASCAR related video since I had my wisdom teeth taken out, all four of them to be exact. And um, usually by now my mouth would be hurting, I'd be in pain, but I'm actually feeling kind of good right now. I guess it just depends on the person, but anyways, yeah. And if my voice or speech sounds funny, I do apologize. My mouth, my mouth feel still a little bit swollen. It's going down, so yeah. But anyways, just want to get that out of the, out of the way. Excuse me. And um, let's get into the video. So it looks like, by the looks of things, it looks like Mike Snyder is gonna be more busier than I thought he would be. Because he has announced that he's going to drive a partial schedule for RSS Racing. That's Ryan Sieg's team. Um, he's going to be driving the number 93 Chevrolet. We've all seen that car before. And so here's what the article says. I'll put a link to the article down below in the description. And you guys can go from there. So here's what the article says. Mike Snyder, the 2018 NASCAR Gander RV and Outdoors Truck Series Rookie of the Year has expanded his 2020 Xfinity Series schedule, adding races with RSS Racing. Excuse me. Snyder will split time during the season between the number 21 Tax Slayer Chevrolet Camaro for Richard Childress and the number 93 Superior SX Chevrolet Camaro for RSS Racing. Superior SX Communication joined RSS Racing through a business-to-business -business partnership with Snyder with My Snyder Racing. Focusing on growing his experience as he continues to rise in the NASCAR ranks. Snyder will be compete will compete in approximately 20 events during the year, starting with the season opener at Daytona with RCR. It's hard to put into words how exciting this year is going to be, noted Snyder. Going back and forth between the two teams is bound to keep me busy, but the opportunity to work with both organizations is going to be a huge learning experience. It's a great way to run my first Xfinity Series season, and I can't wait to kick it off at Daytona with RCR and Fontana with RSS Racing. Having a driver of Might's, night, of Might's caliber and talent in our stable this year is awesome, emphasized Kevin Starlin, RSS Racing's com competition director. We feel this is a great opportunity to show how our, our entire RSS organization can perform. We also think this will be a great connection point between us and RCR for the whole season. Competing with the ECR engine under the hood, we are thrilled to have Myatt join the team and honestly wish he had he was competing with us full time. We're very much looking forward to our first race with Myatt at Fontana. Complementing his RCR program with RSS Racing will give Steiner additional seat time to develop his skills. Enabling him both teams to be more competitive throughout the season. Snyder is scheduled to run all five Xfinity Series road course races where his wheel and Euro Series experience from 2019 will come in handy. The NASCAR Euro Series competes mostly on road courses, including famous venues like Braun, Brands Hotch in the United Kingdom and Hockenheim Ring in Germany. One of the highlights on my schedule with RSS Racing is the ability to run all the road courses this year competing in the euro series last year will really help prepare me for something like this including running some of the most prestigious road courses in the world bronze hodge valencia and hockenheim to name a few i really i i really i really feel prepared and my lifelong dream of racing at Watkins Glen will come to fruition should be a fun season so what do i think of this um it's kind of interesting move. I was at first we were all thinking that um that Steiner was just gonna do the 21. Well, it looks like they want him to do some more. Now we all know that usually the 93 cars starting and parking on occasion with drivers mostly like Jeff Green or Greg Galding, for example. And um well, however, when they put someone like Mike Snyder on the team that that driver, a driver like my center, could usually compete because look at Ryan Sieg. Last year, 
at New Hampshire, he drove the 93 car and he got top 10. And the 39 was CJ McLaughlin. So, yeah. So, see, if C can get top 10 to 93, so can Snyder. And I think he'll do decent. I predict that he'll get at least two or three top 10 finishes in that 93 car. And I guess when they mean all five road courses, I mean, I guess they mean that new road course at Indianapolis too. Um, and yes, I've heard about the Wheelan Euro Series too. And I've heard about those tracks that I, those four mentioned tracks, Hockenheim, Bronze Hotch. So, yeah. Hockenheim, for those that don't know, that's the track, the German road, that road course in Germany where the former guys from Formula One race at. Um, it's a pretty interesting road course. Don't it, it's I usually find the races there entertaining at times, but yeah. But I think this will help Snyder gain gain experience because look at Ross Chastain. He was with JD Motorsports and then he drove for Ganassi back in twenty eighteen. Remember that? This is kind of similar. This Snyder's having a similar situation like Chastain. So yeah. So I hope Snyder does good, and I hope he doesn't tear up too many race cars. That's all I have to say. And also, Kaz Grala, I heard, is returning to the 21 team. Just the 21 team for this upcoming season. So, yeah. So, yeah, I think this is pretty... Yeah, so once again, it's a pretty good deal, especially for someone who can be in top-level equipment. and someone, And for him to go to a team like RSS Racing that's usually top 10 to mediocre. It's a really interesting move. Maybe he can help develop, make RSS Racing more better, but I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see when the season starts. But anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say. So guys, that will do it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Chase Fan number nine here. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell down below to get notifications for all my videos. And make sure to hit that like button. And with that, I'll see you guys all in my next video. And until then, have a good one. And also, last but not least, rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. Bye, everyone.